Hi, my name is EJ Michi and I'm a music tutor and workshop leader for Hertfordshire Music Service. In this video, I'll be sharing my opinions on diversity, representation and youth voice, showing why we all need to do better. Diversity to me means looking around in my surroundings and seeing people from all different races, cultures, religions, genders, etc. and just generally seeing difference. It's not being surprised that I'm the only person of colour or woman in a room or being surprised when another person of colour enters the room. It's the experience of thinking less about how I present to the world in that moment and feeling like I'm not the only one who's had that lived experience. Diversity can have a big impact on how you feel and think about who you are and how much someone like you is valued in society. Diversity doesn't just have a positive impact on ethnic minorities, but literally everyone, as it helps build a more tolerant society and it gives people the chance to begin to learn about the differences between us all so that those become normal rather than something other than um, with negative perceptions and prejudices. Well, like diversity, representation is not just important, but vital to being comfortable with your identity and your sense of self in society. It gives you a deeper sense of belonging and plays a big role whilst growing up in teaching you that you're not alone and that there are people who look like you who have achieved what you can achieve. As a music tutor, I've been into schools with my Afro hair out and had other black or mixed race children be excited and happy that someone has similar hair to them and is teaching them music. And I've had people say to me, wow, your hair looks like mine. So that obviously has a massive impact on those children, but also on me and reaffirms how important diversity and representation is, um, especially for young children. During primary school years, I didn't feel represented very often at all. Um, I felt different and wanted to assimilate to the white people around me without even knowing it uh, because they were the ones who were popular and made up the majority and as a child it's easy to think if I were more like them then I'd be more popular, more liked, um, less different despite my parents always being um, positive about me being mixed race. Um, even things like they're making fun of my name, like my full name's Ijama, and they'd say like Ijama Lama, Ijama Lama. So just really small kind of microaggressions that, or about your hair or touching your hair um, that makes you feel different kind of consistently. And other children see themselves represented everywhere all the time, from TV to music to film, um, parents' friends, children's books, literally the list is endless. And even the curriculum is whitewashed. We learn what the British curriculum was designed to teach us. We don't get the full picture of British his history, like the truths of colonialism and imperialism. And we don't learn about black British history. So literally from early years in school, you're indirectly told that you're not important and your history is not as important as your white peers. And only now that I've grown up and I've been to university and educated myself on these issues, I've realized how much of an impact that would have had on me. Growing up, I did feel represented by musicians like Corin Bailey Ray and Tracy Chapman. Um, they had similar hair to me, both play guitar and sing and songwrite, and showed me successful women in the music industry who looked like me. Um, then I found out about musicians like Fela Kuti and Fatimata Jiwara, and began to connect more with West African musicians and that side of my heritage. And I fell in love with that music and was able to connect more um, to my culture in a way that I hadn't done before. Um, which then led me to studying music and development studies at SOAS, a School of Oriental and African Studies in London, where I learned more in depth about African roots within genres that I didn't even know about, like disco and rock. Um, again, which we don't get taught in school. Growing up, I was part of Watford Youth Council, UK Youth Parliament and Government Politics Society when I reached sixth form. Youth voice to me meant having a voice in the community and that voice being truly valued in the community. It meant speaking up for those people who didn't usually speak out or hadn't had the opportunity to do so yet. Youth voice gave my voice power, confidence and reaffirmed the importance of standing up for what's right, which I've taken with me to adulthood. 
It helped me to think critically on issues that affect people in society, some that I had little knowledge of before, and it helped me to think outside the box and open my mind up to what other people experience um, and why there are these inequalities that affect people in different ways. One of my main tips would be to ask or research using sources from young people like interviews, discussions or surveys. Ask what young people are listening to, what they're interested in and which musical um, genres or cultures from around the world do they know little about. I think it's important not to assume or generalise so that you're properly catering to the young people you're providing the service to. As I've said before, the curriculum excludes a lot of history and does not truthfully teach black people's part in UK music history and around the world and how influential black culture has been. So I would look critically at what already exists in the curriculum and which holes need to be filled. I would also look at the demographic you're engaging with and why that might be. You need to look at the activities and projects you're running, who's running them, how accessible they are for certain young people and how they're being advertised to reach those young people. If there are families of main background in your area who participate at a much lower rate, then you know it's something to do with your music service and not just because BAME people don't like music or want their children to be involved in musical activity. We need to continue to be more inclusive in our music services and try harder to increase diversity, representation and equality for our young people and within our workforce. Thank you for listening.